family. Different family members will adjust to their new life in Australia more quickly than others. For example, children will often learn English faster than their parents. Some people might find it difficult to understand and accept Australian culture. It is important to adjust to your new life by working together as a family. Talk with your children about the differences between life in Australia and life where you have just come from. Support each other and respect each other. You can learn a lot from each other. If you don't speak English well, ask your settlement service provider about the government's translating and interpreting service, or TIS. Ask about getting an I need an interpreter card, which you can keep in your wallet and show people which language you speak. In Australia, men and women have the same rights and responsibilities, and family roles might be different from what you are used to. In Australia, it is acceptable and common for both men and women to go to work. Both men and women share household responsibilities like looking after children, cooking and cleaning. It is really important to work together. Disciplining children is an important part of parenting, but physical punishment in Australia is illegal. You can use other forms of discipline, like taking away privileges or sending your child to their room. Reward your child for good behaviour and lead by example. If you are having problems with disciplining children, there are family counselling and parenting support services to help you. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your settlement service provider. Childcare Managing learning English, work, education and family can be difficult. To help with this, many families in Australia use childcare. Qualified childcare workers will look after your babies and children who are too young to go to school when you are working, studying or learning English. At childcare, children are kept busy learning things to prepare them for school and they can play with other children in a safe and secure environment. They will be very well looked after and will also have fun. Childcare is free when you are attending Adult Migrant English Program or AMEP classes, otherwise childcare will cost money. It might be difficult to find childcare, so ask about childcare as soon as possible. There are also playgroups where parents and their young children spend time with other parents and their children. Playgroups can help your children learn social skills and are also a good way to meet other people and become part of the community you now live in. Ask your settlement service provider or look in your DVD booklet for contact details. Older children Some of you will feel that some Australian ways go against your own cultural beliefs. Once they turn 18, teenagers are considered adults in Australia and have many freedoms some people are not used to. For example, some young adults move out of home before they marry. It is also common for young people to have relationships that don't lead to marriage. Some of you might also be a little unhappy about the clothes that teenagers choose to wear or the freedom they have in Australia. These differences can be difficult to understand or accept, but this is all part of growing up in Australia. For teenagers Talk to your parents about the things you learn at school. Ask your parents about their life back home and try to understand their experiences and your cultural background. 
Your parents might not learn English or adapt to the Australian way of life as quickly as you. You need to be patient with them, and they need to be patient with you. Working together will help you all adapt to life in Australia more easily. This includes helping at home with the household, washing dishes, or looking after younger brothers and sisters. You should enjoy your freedom here, but you might need to contribute money to your family to help pay for food and rent. You may find it difficult at first to settle in, particularly at school. It may take some time, but you will make friends and feel more comfortable. Ask your school counsellor if you need help or ask your settlement service provider about other forms of counselling if you need to talk to someone. These services are private. Youth centres can be a good way to get involved with sports, recreational activities and to meet other people in your area. Sarah is a youth worker. The youth centres are a, a place where young people can come and, and join in in different activities, um, meet other young people their own age and from different backgrounds and, and participate in new things, um, education activities, recreation stuff, art activities, um, and meet with, with workers as well if they want to speak to an adult or, or another young person about personal issues. Because it can be really isolating you know, living in the community, particularly if you're, you're newly arrived here. And so, um, you know, this is a place where everyone's welcome and accepted. Helping family come to Australia. Now that you live in Australia, some of you may want to find out how you can get other family members here. However, it is important that you get settled first. You need to learn English, find a job, find a place to live, Enroll your children in school and learn about your new environment. You will find it very difficult to settle if you are trying to support an extended family at the same time. When you have settled, you can ask about the government's special humanitarian program and the possibility of proposing your family members. But remember that the government receives thousands of applications every year and can only grant a small number of visas.